And first and five, a budget deal. Mayor de Blasio announces plans for an $88 billion budget that includes cuts to the NYPD. Thanks so much for joining us. Sign up Corey Chambers. And I'm Tamsin Fidel. Well, cutting funds from the police department is something protesters have been demanding since the death of George Floyd a month ago. And hundreds have been camped outside City Hall for a week calling to defund the police. Today we learned how much a city plans to divert from the NYPD's budget and put toward other programs as part of police reform. Well, now the city council needs to vote. And depending on which way it goes, those protests could intensify. We have team coverage tonight, beginning with Anna Harry, with why some council members are set to vote no on all this. Ayanna. Tamsin and Corey, over the last 48 hours, I have spoken with about half a dozen council members, and they all agree no one is completely happy with this budget. It includes cuts to local programs. City workers may be laid off, and the biggest rift is over how to fund the NYPD. The mayor says this is all a done deal, but some council members are saying not so fast. This is not one of those moments to be, to be shouting from the mountaintop how great of a budget it is. And just to be frank, when the people of the city of New York see this budget, they're gonna be out on the streets. After an unexpected crisis brought New York City's economy to a standstill. Nine billion dollars evaporated, gone. Today, City Hall agreed on an $88.1 billion budget for the next fiscal year. There are deep cuts to city services as the mayor focused on four priorities. Your safety, your health, putting food on your table and a roof over your head. The budget includes $119 million for COVID-19 care clinics and $450 million to ensure New Yorkers don't go hungry. But city agencies will have to find a billion dollars in labor savings or else. October 1st looms as the day we would have to put into effect layoffs. And after the death of George Floyd ignited calls to defund the police. One billion dollars is shifted away from the NYPD in a variety of manners. The NYPD will reduce overtime spending, cancel the incoming class of police recruits, and some responsibilities will be shifted away from the department, including school safety. They're just talking about moving the budget line for the school safety agents from NYPD to DOE, that's not transformative. That's an accounting trick. And that's why Manhattan Councilman Ben Kalis says he'll vote no on today's budget. 